you. Well, we all love a story of a great miracle, and the man sitting beside me today may be one of those miracles in our community. Coming up, you have a chance to give the gift, a life-saving gift of blood. And joining us to tell us more about that, we have David and Yvonka Landis, and we have Christy Altman from Medic Regional Blood Center. Thank you guys all for being here Thank today. You. Thank you. You have a Thank big you. blood drive coming up. It's the seventh annual Keeping the David Landis Miracle Alive Blood Drive. Yes. You've been through quite a bit to make it to this point, right? A little bit, a little bit. Uh, in 2013, I had a pancreatitis attack that landed me uh, in Park West Hospital for five and a half months. Wow. Um, I was comatose for, I believe, three months out of that. And through the course of my stay, um, I received uh, 40 units of blood. So um, we didn't know that if you did not donate on a regular basis, you are charged for that blood can be quite expensive. So the real estate community, while I was actually still in ICU, got together and held a blood drive. That was the first one. Right. Uh, in November, I guess I got out of the hospital in December. They held it in November and uh, raised blood that year to offset the cost of what we were going to be charged for my blood. And then ever since then, um, we've made it a point to host an annual blood drive and, yeah. and give back. Yeah, you never know when you're going to need it. Yes. Talk about what that was like as his wife sitting there and feeling, I'm sure, kind of helpless in that situation. Yes, because we went in the hospital and we thought we were only going to be there for two days. Within right. 24 hours, he was on life support. That's not something you can plan for or, you know, just it's a shocker. Sure. You know, and when you think about uh, them telling you that he's not going to live, you know, that type thing. And so with prayer in this community is what put David back together. You know, yeah. I truly believe that. And the blood, you have to have that blood. And when he went into surgery, they already told me that he was going to have to be replenished. So I didn't realize how much replenishment that is. You know, so they replenished him in surgery and out. So that's a lot. It's a ton, and without the help of the community and close friends that jumped in to your rescue, yes. Things could be very different. Yes. Obviously, you've got the blood drive coming up, and yes. you can tell us more than anyone, Christy, how much that gift of blood really means to it's families. It's so important, and what we try to, to get across to the community is that the blood on the shelf right now is the blood that's used in a tragedy or in a disaster event. So if something were to happen here, a tornado or a, a traumatic car accident, what we have in our inventory right now is what we give to the hospitals. And so we try to remind folks to come in every 56 days and donate with us. They can donate whole blood. They can do what's called a double red donation. So they get we get double the product. Right. Um, platelets as well for our, our, our cancer patient friends. And um, again, just as often as they can come in when they're eligible to come in and see us because we never know when something is going to happen and we have to send out more blood than we are used to to hospitals. Yeah, David, what does this mean to you now being able to give back to your community in a huge way as they stepped up to the plate for you many years ago. It means everything. Somebody came and visited me while I was in the hospital and said, you know, you're still here for a reason. It's your job now to find your purpose. Yeah. And I don't know if I found every bit of my purpose, but I found part of it. Yes. And I enjoy giving back and I enjoy, you know, organizing and trying to rally people together to, to try to give yeah. back and, you know, just make Nossel, make East Tennessee a little bit better. Yeah, that gave me chills because we do all have a purpose yes. and knowing when you're going through this situation that this is your purpose, you may never see that until you yes. come out on the other side, and right? And you gotta walk in purpose. Yeah. You know, to be a blessing to someone else, you have to walk in purpose. Yeah. What would you say to folks watching right now about the blood drive coming up? We want to give the details on that again. It's just coming up um, November 6th, right? Yeah. Yes. Next week. I would say uh, come out, let's fellowship together uh, from 9.30 to 5.30, bring a friend, make no excuses, nobody likes needles, but you're going to have a needle if you get sick. So just right. go ahead and deal with it and say, okay, it's going to be a little stick, I'm going to donate and I'm going to save lives. One unit of blood saves three lives. We've saved 1,221 lives in six blood drives. Let's keep it going. Let's keep up the, the good work by our yes. community. Give us the dates one more time, and is there a particular type of blood we need? Well, we always need O negative, O positive, and A positive, and when, anyone that comes on the bus will be happy to take their blood. Next week, we've got two buses. It'll be at the Petros in West Knoxville. As Ivanka mm -hmm. said, it's 9.30 to 5.30, and I hear she has some really great goodie bags to give out to friends. They'll have food, and it's going to be a bit of a party all day Long. I love it. Thank yes. you guys so much for the message Thank today. Thank, Thank you. you for being an inspiration and sharing you. your story. We're going to have more for you available on our website at livingeasttennessee.com.